Over on the north side, Calm and Cozy are going hand in hand for a classic date night. Fig and Ash isn't just a foodie destination, it's considered a must for locals and tourists alike. And this place's knack for the classics and new adventures could be just what Cupid ordered. <laughs> Here with us are co-owners Corey Hughes and Alex Beltovich. Thank you so much for coming in today. Oh, it's a pleasure having us. This Thank you is so much. Wonderful. So, what are you guys making today for us? So, we're going to do heirloom carrots over house made honey whipped ricotta, finished with brown butter and marcona almonds. It is the only menu item that's been on since day one. Oh. And for a touch of indulge, we will do cat snare Kahlua brownie with Millie's vanilla ice cream and a touch of Maldon sea salt. I couldn't make all of this in, I don't know, eight hours, let right. alone in and the four minutes. He's going to do it in four minutes, minutes which is crazy. <laughs> it's <laughs> TV kitchen magic. That's okay. right. <laughs> we know all about that. Uh, but Alex, tell us a little bit about your backstory. You guys have been there for two and a half years, but you were just filling us in on kind of the blessing that was with your opening. So it took us about three years and eight months from the first moment of conceptualization at Corey's dining room table. Okay. And, uh, what was that? The winter of 2017, I believe. Yeah, that sounds about right. And uh, yeah, so we were we hit some delays through construction, permitting, everything along stuff. the yeah. way. We're delayed about a year, and then hit a few more snags in the road, and then unfortunately the pandemic had hit. Yeah. And it it actually ended up helping us because we were able to at least take some time. Everybody was trying to figure out what was going on, and we kind of oh. kind of started when restaurants started coming back to life. Right, well, and right. And we know how hard that was too for restaurants who were in the thick of it, places that had been there forever, even still trying to make it through the pandemic. So, yeah. yeah, Corey, walk us through what you're doing right now because you just had one of those cool chef moves. Uh, <laughs> I've I got four can... of them, so <laughs> you got to you got to be more specific. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, we're gonna come back. Oh, we're back live. You can show your chef move again. Yeah, okay. yeah that was that was awesome. <laughs> I would have carrots all over the floor. <laughs> I'm sorry. It doesn't take much for this guy, so you know. I'm impressed. <laughs> I was impressed just as how he described what he was making. The heirloom yeah. with yeah. the touch of exactly. honey whip for ricotta. Yeah. So what we did ahead of time <laughs> is I took these beautiful organic rainbow carrots and um, I put them in a vacuum bag with some uh, local honey, butter, fresh herbs, oh. touch of uh, our house steak seasoning. Cooked them for an hour. So now all I'm doing is just caramelizing the natural sugars, warming the carrots up slightly, and. Uh, with our little TV magic, we're gonna have a plate here in about 30 seconds. That, I can't wait. It smells so good already. So I'm gonna sneak behind you real yep. quick and okay. grab your brownies. You go ahead. All right. In the meantime, Alex, I wanna ask you about first off the location where you guys are, mm -hmm. and you have a patio that's year round, right? That's kind of cool. Yes, yes, and that was our saving grace coming through the early stages of the pandemic. Um, but the North Side just always been a place near and dear to my heart. My mom was a nurse at Allegheny General Hospital mm -hmm. and the transplant coordinator there for some time. Corey has uh, has always been uh, going around the north side as well in his time here in Pittsburgh. So it just made sense and also just being a, very much a revitalized corridor. If you had to describe the restaurant to people who had not been there before, tell us about your inspiration and, and really what you like to serve up. So the whole entire concept was really based off of going to Corey's house and my sister's. We are brothers-in-law on a Sunday night. Corey just loves to take classic comfort foods and add some chefly touches to them. <laughs> All right. Well, you That's continue good. here, Corey. What, what are you adding? What are you doing here? So right now, uh, I am putting the greatest gift mankind has ever seen. It's called Maldon Sea Salt. <laughs> Okay. I mean, there are few inventions better in the world than Maldon sea salt. Um, you have that. And then you have Millie's ice cream, right? That you're yeah. Because yeah. Chad's amazing, Let's, and that's why we support Chad. Uh, why don't we? Can we start with dessert, or what are you? What are you going to serve up first? We can absolutely start however you like. What? We're game for whatever. All it right. just smells so good. Exactly. I, you know what? And I'm I, the the, t the tension is mounting as I continue to look at this, thinking, oh, I got to try it before we run out of time. Oh, I got you. <laughs> as you guys are evolving, getting ready for uh, Valentine's Day and just growing your business, uh, what do you have planned in the near future? Well, we actually are uh, in the works of concept number two right next door really? to us. Oh, so wow. great. We, we have we have quite a bit right. going on right now. Thank this you, Corey. looks amazing. You wow. And do you have any ideas? Are you allowed to share with us yet? Because I feel like we're getting breaking news right now. 
<laughs> Jeff? So, <laughs> Uh, we wanted to do, we wanted to have a lot more fun. So we wanted to do like sandwiches, apps, uh, some playful food. I do not want to say the word stoner food live on television, but that's kind of what it is. You did it. <laughs> but I mean, as, as I saw yesterday's episode with that delicious chicken sandwich you were eating, our, our restaurant also will be like a two napkin kind of sandwich. I love it. And this Great is idea. delicious. I just want to take a bite of the brownie. Mm. Oh, yeah. We're being told to wrap, but these I'm not doing it. These are these are like per, per, perhaps the best carrots I have ever had in my entire life. Like they That's are true. so good. The balance of everything. Mm. Oh, it's just uh, this could be my main course. And here's the dessert. Okay. Right, we're we have digging to take in. One bite. You take a Careful, bite. It's a hot cast iron. Hey, thank you guys so much for coming in. Oh, it's really our pleasure. Thank you, thank you so much. You. Yeah, and congratulations on your restaurant. Uh -huh. All right, she's she's done. For more information on Fig and Ash, go to our website, Pittsburgh Today Live. We have a link for you right there. That is particular. Right. Now it's my turn.